Hello and welcome to the Hero Indian Super League. It's part two from our Super Sunday doubleheader with two winless sides doing battle. Kerala Blasters at SC East Bengal as we come to you from the GMC Stadium in Bambalim, Goa. It's a 4-3-3 formation with Gary Hooper leading the attack, having scored just a solitary goal in five matches so far. Will that change tonight here in Goa? Four changes have also been made by Robbie Fowler as SC East Bengal also chased their first victory. A welcome return from injury for Danny Fox, while Tom Basing makes his hero ISL debut. Well done. I think it's time now. The excuses have to stop. They've had... They're into their sixth game now. They've had plenty of time. You can... I mean, pre-season excuses all have to go out of the window now, and the coaches really have to start delivering because there's high expectation from both sets of fans. And with the talent on display, you've seen marginal improvements with this East Bengal team. He's starting to score a bit more goals. And I like what Robbie Fowler's done with his team today. He's There's no point trying to make space for strikers who are not delivering or not working for the team. Yes, you're right, Tomba Singh. Keep an eye on him tonight. Part of a wonderful array of Indian players making their first appearances in the Hero Indian Super League. A Kerala Blaster teammate uh, of so many out there in action tonight. Thank you, heroes. Fitting sign here from the Yellow Brigade because Mumbai City are at the top of the Hero Indian Super League on 16 points. Kerala have two points. SC East Bengal have just a solitary point to their name. Here's Magoma, two-goal hero last time out. And for the Kerala Blasters faithful, they're so desperate to see their team turn their campaign around. It's the worst ever start for the Blasters in the history of the Indian Super League. Some defending perhaps required here. The debutant goes for goal! Wonderful save, but he hasn't put it away yet now. A foul by Nishu Kumar. The referee doesn't point to the spot. The debutant, his first taste of the Hero Indian Super League, forcing the keeper, Albino Gomes, into action. It looked like he'd done enough to keep it and push it around the corner. And this is now a question they'll be asking. And there is a question not answered. It had to go in. Cost had come up from the back. He always comes up for the set pieces. Well, then sometimes we're critical of strikers by just judging them by their numbers. I thought he did brilliantly in the last game against Bangalore. Now, the goal is there, yes! and it finally goes in. It could be an own goal. It doesn't matter. It's incredible how a goal can turn. Rafiq's inside. He had a sight for goal. Elected to play it square inside. The desperation to try to clear that ball results in it going in. SC East Bengal get just their third goal in the Hero Indian Super League. A crucial breakthrough. Can he feed it through? He can. It's an acute angle. He still goes for it. The keeper had it covered. No touch. The referee was just checking with his assistant, but I'm sensing the keeper might have made a save. Now the assistant referee signals corner. You, you, you can't, you, you can't turn away from this match. It, it comes in deep. Oh, that's quality defending. That is absolute quality defending because Costa's looming. If he doesn't get a touch to that, keep an eye on 26 for the Blasters. Vicente Gomez. Going for goal, it's dipping, but not enough for the Blasters. Time of plenty in this game. It's an open shot! So oh, it's close, isn't it, Giselle? That would have been a magic finish for Giselle Cañero. Final third of the field. That's a perfect ball, the keeper had to be brave. While KP came through. He's not to know exactly where the keeper is. He's got his eye on the ball. He wants to meet that delivery. It was a beautifully whipped in cross. The intentions are very clear. Keeper Makita wants results. He's made three changes. I can't recall three changes at halftime in any game in season seven of the Hero Indian Super League. Kerala deadly on the set piece. Three of five goals have come that way this season. And how? does that not hit the target again it's the big man coming up 
Steinman touching on. And they repeat. Oh, wonderful save. The keeper is playing like a man possessed. Maintaining possession well in this sequence. Here's Nishukumata, low ball inside. Sahal goes for goal on the turn. He hits it sweetly, but it got underneath it too much. Well, I think it definitely helps having... Well, Fox has to save. Murray's onside! It's deflected away. What an escape for SC East Bengal. Well, it was a long ball, direct ball in. It comes back. And the final attempt comes from Jordan Murray. Facunda, Facunda Pereira, Sahal, Sahal leaves it. Facunda takes it. Too high relief for SC East Bengal, and they're still asking the question of the referee. The danger of the counter-attack, Porkington onside. It was a tight one, Steinman onto Magoma, miscued, saved! Fingertip save. They're still in the hunt. Magoma could have finished off the game in the 87th minute. How good have the goalkeepers been today? Just on two minutes of out of time remaining in this game. A thrilling game. It's gone beyond the ball except Sahal. Will he go for goal? Will he go for glory? He lifts it in nicely. There's the, There's the equaliser! Unbelievable! An equalising goal in stoppage time. Jackson Singh has popped up to score his first ever goal in the Hero Indian Super League. They've toiled hard for this and they've got their reward. There's just on 45 seconds left. Murray plays it on the side. Oh, oh my, my, my. It's cleared away by Neville. Or is it? They're saying that Sahal got the last touch. There's always late drama in games in the Hero ISL, and you couldn't have asked for more. It certainly was the Late Late Show. Sahal is back, and he's back with a flurry. Kerala Blasters run. SC East Bengal 1.